healthy to all ladies and gentlemen namaskar and welcome it's me mahalakshmi you guys are watching the mahalakshmi show i think you guys already guess it what topic today do i have yes i will talk about corona virus because this is very very serious and important topic according to news source more than 4000 people already die due to corona virus and 100 more than 115000 people already suffering from corona virus we don't know how many people need to face corona virus problem in us also 27 people already die due to corona virus corona virus is affecting all over the world our stock market is going down and people are buying so many things People started to work from home. So many companies they allow to do work from home, like Twitter, Google. But whoever cannot work from home, what they do? Especially those people who work for pay to pay check. We are so panic and stressed, still we could not able to find the coronavirus medicine. What they do, how they are managing, and what is their plan. So I'm going to talk with normal people what they are doing, how they are preparing for coronavirus, what is their plan. Let's go there and talk to them. How you are preparing for coronavirus? Yeah, so um, luckily I'm with my parents and, and my mom took it very seriously right from the start. She, her philosophy is better be prepared than not. So she took a lot of the steps kind of in the beginning as far as getting water bottles, getting Kleenex, Clorox, etc. Um, with that said, the government obviously was not prepared for something of this large of a thing and didn't look take the time to pre-plan so now we're kind of in this state where uh, the resources aren't there not spread out as they should be um, I know LabCorp and uh, QuestLab I believe are now doing the testing independently for coronavirus so we just need more kits for testing we need more masks for the people who are affected we need to uh, make the public more aware of how serious this is. Um, people taking public transit and places where there's a lot of people and in close proximity need to be careful and really limit their exposure to being outside uh, only for necessity. Uh, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better, unfortunately, so we're in a position right now where we're kind of all kind of in a state of limbo. We don't really know what we should do as a, as a consumer, so um, it almost seems like it's a matter of when, not if, we'll get it. But um, yeah, I kind of don't have the best answer, but I think we, the best thing I found out was that we weren't prepared for something like this. So I guess it will be a learning lesson for the next thing to be prepared as much as possible, have the right tools to take care of it as quickly, and uh, just know that something like this is out there that could happen again. People are dying due to coronavirus all sure. over the world. So what do you want to tell? Well, for sure, I don't want to be uh, uh, to have a disease here in the United States because you don't have a public health system, healthcare system, so it will be like uh, devastating for my for my. Uh, Where are you from? I'm from Greece, which is in Greece. It's um, it's a constitutional right to have healthcare for for citizens or for tourists. If you come to Greece and you get uh, a disease, you it's, you will be treated for free because it's a human right. Not in the US. So do you think uh, right now Greece is safe? Uh, nowhere is safe, but you will be treated for free. Here I'm not sure if you will be able to be treated for free. I mean, if, if, if you want to be tested, they will charge you like $500, $500 just for being tested. So if, if I get um, sick here, it will be, I will try to escape, not to get treated. Coronavirus problem is being worse day by day. So do you have any plan how you are preparing yourself? Um, well, right now I really don't have a plan. I'm trying to stay healthy, um, eating a, a lot of food with like a lot of vitamins, antioxidants, things that will keep my immune system up, you know, and boost. Um, mostly because I have a child, so I have to make sure that you know, I don't get sick or he don't get sick. So 
drinking a lot of vitamins, staying active, and just trying to have that strong immune system that if it comes, then I can fight it out. So do you have any suggestion for those people uh, who is like very panic? Um, well, what I can tell them is, you know, stay calm, you know, um, if you compare how many people have died from coronavirus compared to how many people have died from the actual flu, um, you know, the numbers are very different. There's been a lot of people that have died for just regular flu. So it's just all about staying active, staying healthy. You know, and if your system is healthy and you have a strong immune system, then I think you can fight anything. Uh, what is your preparation for coronavirus? I don't think there's anything you can do. You just have to accept the fact that you're probably going to get it. So do you have any plan? Um, I think for me, since I'm, you know, relatively young and relatively healthy, I think I'm going to be okay. If I was an older person, I'd probably take maybe a little bit more precautions. But since I'm not, I don't think I'm going to live my life any differently. So how about your family and relatives? You don't worry about them? Oh, of course. No, of course. Of course I do. I have, uh, you know, older older relatives and stuff like that, that they're going to have to be more careful. They're going to have to take the precautions. But it's no different than any bad flu season. That's the way I look at it, right? Do you have any solution for the government? For the government? I think they've been doing a pretty good job. Maybe they're under reporting maybe cases that they see but that, that also is not necessarily their fault there's a lot of things that are, uh, could be done at like local levels like it's as far as people getting tested and it comes down to people actually admitting the fact that they have those symptoms and getting tested there's a ton of people that could probably have it that just stay at home they spread it they don't know and then they find out after the fact so it, it's kind of up to us if you feel sick and you feel like you should get tested and you probably should and due to coronavirus so many people already die and uh, so many people they are suffering from coronavirus so people are so panic and stressed yeah. so do you have any plan right now um i'm just thinking about just staying in my house and saving food just in case but i think everything you have to careful you know you don't know a lot about that but you have to careful about that so just um drink a lot of stuff to be healthy and try to be you know nice and careful about everything that's it thank you coronavirus is spreading all over the world so many people already died so do you have any plan how you will prepare how how you are preparing i'm prepared I, every day I, I, every day i wash my hands and make sure that i'm clean and uh, my advice for those who uh have it in their area wash your hands every day make sure that you take a shower every night and make sure that when you're in public areas in certain areas wear gloves or masks to prevent the virus from coming into contact with you thank you very much for watching the mahalakshmi show please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe our channel and wherever you are whatever you are doing try to do best and try to be safe stay healthy and happy bye bye namaste